Good morning, everyone. My name is Mark, and today I'll be giving you all a presentation about the topic of the future of renewable energies. <laughs> so, let's take a look at our world. What's been happening? We've been seeing temperatures rise. It's been getting hotter. Even outside, you can see smog in the air. It's clearing up our vision. We can't see. What could possibly be causing this? What could make our temperatures rise? I mean, certainly someone didn't leave the oven out, right? So, what's causing this is climate change. Now, climate change can have many meanings. It could be an ice age. But this one we're talking about specifically is global warming. Global warming is caused by burning, mainly by the burning of fossil fuels like oil, natural gas, and coal to power our power plants, which give us electricity. Humans are incredibly power hungry. We use electricity for cooking, for education here, for entertainment, and even for powering TEDx signs like this one I'm using for the presentation. So if we were to continue using these, eventually global warming would cause polar ice caps to melt. This means flooding will get worse. A lot of our coastal cities, including this one here, will go underwater. Now, underwater housing isn't very livable for humans. Along with that, species like penguins, which live in the north, will go extinct because they have no longer any ice to stand on or to live on. Now, this does not sound very good. So, what are we doing? How do we fix this problem? How are we supposed to stop our climate from changing? How do we stop it from heating up? Well, we do know that our main electricity source comes from the fossil fuels, and burning them causes this to happen. So our solution should obviously lie in changing our electricity where our power comes from. Our first alternative will be renewables. Renewable energies are clean. They come from natural, non-exhausting sources. Like, for example, here, wind and the sun. Renewable energies are inexhaustible. They are not like fossil fuels. They don't pump carbon into the air and make it hotter. But there are problems to renewable energy. As you can see here, to make as much power as a singular dirty fossil fuel plant, you would have to clear up tons of land and place renewable energies there instead. Now, clearing up this land, while well, you obviously can't destroy cities and bulldoze people's homes, so you have to cut down forests. And doing that can ruin habitats and even accelerate climate change as forests are actively helping to prevent it. This is not good for us. Along with that, renewable energies actually will not provide enough power to satisfy our needs. Remember, we're using electricity for almost every aspect of our life now. Because renewable energies are conditional. Now, when I say conditional, this means that renewable energies need certain requirements to operate at full capacity. For example, the sun needs the sun to shine, and the wind needs the wind to blow. Even things like geothermal or hydropower, they need certain geographic requirements, like for a body of water to be there, or for there to be natural heat sources. This means they won't be running all the time and everywhere for everyone, not giving us the energy we need. So now, we are forced to pick between two choices. We could either power ourselves, continue to use fossil fuels, and, you know, burn up or go underwater. Or we could pick these and go into power shortage and not be able to power ourselves and live in darkness. These both sound like very negative outcomes. But what if I told you we had a third choice? What if I told you that there was something that could be clean, that could adequately power us, and that could also be, well, renewable? It's not a pipe dream. It's nuclear energy. Nuclear energy is power that comes from the splitting of an atom, or nuclear fission. Nuclear energy is able to be clean, produce adequate power for us, while also, you know, not warming up the climate. Well, when you think about nuclear, you might say, oh, it's toxic, it's dangerous, we're all going to become mutants. Remember Fukushima, remember Chernobyl? Well, I'm going to say that, I'm going to do it. There have been hundreds of reactors constructed through the years. And the two major accidents, Chernobyl and Fukushima, were caused mainly by human error and unavoidable natural disasters. These do not represent the overall status of nuclear energy as an electricity source. This means that when properly managed and safely stored, 
nuclear energy poses no threat to humankind. As you can see here in this diagram, clean nuclear energy takes up about as much space as a coal reactor or a fossil fuel reactor, while powering even more than these clean renewables right here. This is also because nuclear energy is unconditional. Nuclear energy can run anywhere, at any time. If you take a look at some energy capacity factors provided to us by the Energy Information Administration of the U.S., you can see that natural gas moves at 56.6%, coal at 42%, while solar and wind are lagging behind by a lot. This is because, like I said earlier, they only run when the sun shines or when the wind blows. But with nuclear energy, it runs at a staggering 92.5% for the duties. <clears throat> this is because nuclear energy is unconditional. It runs all the time. It will be able to power what we need. It will be eco-friendly and it will be plentiful for us. We will be able to power ourselves. We will be able to do TEDx presentations about the lights going on. We'll actually go through it. We won't actually pump carbon into the atmosphere. We won't drown underwater and go, you know, extinct like penguins. In a world of nuclear energy, we'd actually save money as well. As you can see here in the giant show, we'll save money from the costs. Electricity bills are a big thing hampering our budgets right now because we are running on fossil fuels and also unreliable renewable energies. But with nuclear energy, we have so much electricity that we'd save money. We'd get money to buy other stuff. We'd have fun with our lives as well. So how do we go about achieving this? How could we get this pipe dream to actually happen? But it starts with you, the audience. You, the audience, you have to use your voices. You have to promote nuclear energy. Don't buy into the theories about it being dangerous or it turning us into puddles of water. That's not true. To really promote nuclear energy, you need to go use your mouth. Tell others it's not dangerous. It's actually pretty safe. And it can empower us enough to step into the future. So to conclude my presentation, fossil fuels and climate change have been wrecking the earth a lot recently and a lot of things are going underwater, including our cities. To solve these, we must not use renewable energies. We can play a part in it, but there's still not enough to power us. Instead, we need to use nuclear energy. It provides a safe alternative, which powers enough, and it's also clean for the environment. This will help provide energy for now, and also for our future generations to come and their innovations. Thank you for listening to my presentation.